Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about reinstalling Mac OS using the Recovery Console. So I'm logged into a Mac right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to restart it, and then I'm going to hold down Command R during the startup, and it'll bring up the Recovery Console. Okay, so it can take a while to open up the Recovery Console, so you have to be patient. Okay, so the recovery console is opened up here. We see a couple different options. We have restore from time machine backup, reinstall Mac OS, get help online, and disk utility. So if you don't want to wipe your drive, you can do reinstall Mac OS, and that should install the OS over your current system, and you can do that to repair things. I always recommend a backup before doing anything that um, dealing with data that you don't want to risk losing. So. I don't really care about the uh, hard drive on here, so I'll go here to Disk Utility, and I'll hit Continue. And we want to click on the internal Mac hard drive. And we can hit Erase here, and we can choose APFS. You can also go into Partition here. And you can um, you know, add or delete partitions, things like that. So since this was already formatted as APFS, I'm going to continue doing that. If you're on a you know, newer machine that supports APFS, I would recommend using it. So we'll choose APFS here, and we'll hit Erase. And now it's erasing the drive. This is a one terabyte SSD. So an important thing to note here is that when you're erasing the drive, you're not wiping it completely. Um, someone could still get into the drive and recover your information. So we'll hit Done here. We'll close this. This will take us back to the Mac OS utility screen and we'll click on reinstall Mac OS. We'll hit continue. And we'll get the uh, Mojave installation screen. We'll hit continue. We'll hit agree here and agree again. We'll choose our drive we want to install on and we'll hit install. So depending on your setup, this could take quite a while to install. Um, it could have to download Mac OS Mojave from the internet. I've made a video on using Apple caching, and I'll put a link in the description to that. And if you have multiple Macs and you're doing this on many machines, it would probably make sense to set up the uh, caching server locally. That way it only downloads Mojave once to your caching server, and then all the subsequent download requests will go through the caching server, and it'll speed things up a lot. Okay, so the install is done. Now it's going to ask us what country we're in, and I'm in US. So you can use your keyboard to, if you hit U, it'll take you down to the U's, if you're in the US or whatever country you're in. I'll hit continue. I'm going to choose a US keyboard. Uh, data and privacy. We hit learn more here. Okay, it just has some help. So we can hit continue. And it'll ask you if you want to transfer anything, and I don't want to do that right now. And it'll ask for an Apple ID. I'm going to say I'm going to set that up later. I'll agree to the terms and conditions. And now I need to create an account. So I'll type my name. And you can add a hint down below. So it, has, it says Express Setup. We can hit Customize here. And we can enable location services. And then we can turn off Share Analytics with Apple. I mean, you can choose what you want here. This is what I'm going to use. I'll hit Continue. It's asking if we want to use the light or the dark mode. I'll just keep it with light. Okay, and I'm using a PC keyboard, so it's going to run through this keyboard setup assistant. So it's going to ask me to calibrate my keyboard. I'll hit done here. So something I forgot to mention is when you're in internet recovery mode, um, you need an internet connection. So I have mine plugged into Ethernet, plugged into my router. You can also um, use Wi-Fi, and I think it'll actually pop a Wi-Fi dialog box up. Mine was already set up on Wi-Fi too if I didn't have Ethernet plugged in. But you'll see the little Wi-Fi icon at the top, and if you click on that, you can connect up to Wi-Fi also. Um, so it has a connection to download the system. So that's the basics of installing Mac OS using the Recovery Console. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.